everyone and welcome to the Chemistry 124 demonstration video on how to use a burette. Burette readings are taken in cubic centimeters and the volume that is delivered on the graduation line is delivered accurately. So don't forget to report all of your recordings to two decimal places. Preparing a burette for use. To perform precise titrations with the burette, a clean burette that drains freely and does not leak is required. Before using a burette, fill the burette with tap water and ensure that 1. the tap turns easily and doesn't leak. Two, that the burette point is not blocked and then drain the burette completely. Step one, rinse the burette twice with distilled water and once with the solution you are using as follows. First, place the burette in a burette holder and make sure that the burette tap is closed. Place a funnel in the top of the burette and pour about 5 cubic centimeters of the distilled water into the burette. Remember to always lift the funnel slightly to allow the solution to flow in freely. Then remove the funnel and carefully tip the burette on its side while turning it in your fingers so that the solution comes in contact with almost the entire length of the burette. Invert it while continuing to turn it until the solution runs out into a waste container. Repeat this step once more for distilled water and then again with the solution. Place the burette back in the burette holder and make sure that the tap is closed. Tap the opposite side of the burette with your palm. Place the funnel in the top of the burette and fill the burette with the required solution. Ensure that the solution is above the zero mark of the burette. Remember to remove the funnel once the burette is filled in order to prevent volume errors from occurring. Check for bubbles. Make sure that the burette tip is filled and that there are no air bubbles in the tip. If an air bubble is present, errors in volume readings will occur. To remove an air bubble, flick the side of the burette tip while the solution is flowing. Allow any excess solution to run out until the bottom of the meniscus is level with the zero mark. Control the tap of the burette with your left hand and hold the flask in your right hand. In this way, your left hand also supports the body of the burette. Slide 4 Collecting Sample If you are collecting a specific volume, this is how you use your left hand while collecting solution with your right hand into a beaker. While performing a titration, collect the solution while swirling the flask with your right hand, ensuring that the reactants mix immediately. Read the burette with your eye on the same level as the meniscus, not above or below. It may also help you to see the meniscus more clearly if you hold a piece of white paper that has a black streak on it behind the burette. You can use a marker pen to draw this. <laughs> 